With OpenShift Flex, you deploy your application onto one of our supported Red Hat certified cloud providers, and you use your own account. So if you have your account already wired up to your corporate data center over VPN, the PaaS becomes an extension of your corporate network. That's already cool flexibility. Using the PaaS, developers can self-service deploy applications to the cloud in minutes. Here I'm uploading code from the command line. I choose the middleware I want to run from the library of Red Hat, Partner, and Open Source components. For example, here I'm choosing JBoss Application Server, Apache, a NoSQL database, and a cache. After I've configured my application stack, I can configure each of the application components. For example, here I'm going to set up Apache rewrite rules. Then here I can look at the files that are part of the application, which I previously uploaded. Uh, the application has access to a distributed file system, so certain files in certain directories are available on all the servers in the cluster, and this is a unique feature for a platform as a service. Once I have my application configured and deployed, and it's working well, I can migrate the application from one set of servers to another, or one server cluster to another. This enables me to promote things from, let's say, staging into production, or from a development environment into a staging environment. In that migration, there was an upgrade to MySQL, which I just made by selecting a new version on the components page. Other things built into the platform as a service are comprehensive performance monitoring. Here at the top, I have a selectable time scale where I can move around in time, and we store two years worth of data. And I've got a palette of different metrics on the right here that I can drag onto my workspace. For example, here I'm looking at the amount of memory used across the cluster during this time period. And up at the top here, there are change markers where something was changed. For example, there's where the application was restarted, and here's where the application was redeployed. Probably the most interesting graph here is this one called transaction times by component. You can see this is a graph of how long it takes to process and serve different sets of URLs that are being serviced by the platform as a service. So if I mouse over here, you can see this is time to download the page to the user, time to get it to the browser, time spent in the web server and app server and database. If I want to compare before and after a certain event, I can hit this two button and I get a second time window and moving this to a time next to the other, I can see what the performance was like before and after this change event in the two colors here, blue and green. Finally, for monitoring, or if anything goes wrong and you need to debug, all the logs from all the components and the application across all the servers in the various clusters are collected on this one screen. And the same thing, you navigate with this time selector at the top. You have all the different log entries here. Uh, some filters on the left, and you can even do free text filtering. So for example, I'm going to search for anything containing this error message. And there we have selected only the log entries that contain that message.